Behold Sophia, where it started many hundreds of years ago, the birth of the Carpathian Empire. I am Super Paul Games. This is Crusader Kings 2. Look how big our empire is. From Ireland to Spain to North Africa to Saudi Arabia. Over by Pakistan. It's huge. That's what she said. As Emperor Derek, he's coming up on 30. He's getting up to a little bit, but he's been a really successful emperor. Defending against the Catholics, um, yeah. Fighting a few wars right now. There's some rebels right here, Sunni rebels. More Sunni rebels uh, in Spain. We've inherited a war from some people that were attacking what was Teutonic Knight territory, but we took it. Knights Templar. I think I'm going to have a negative reaction whenever I see the cross anymore. After all the people we had to fight, there were Knights Templar, Knights Hospitaller, or Teutonic Knights. I'll never be able to go to a church again. Count Castellan of Saria is trying to usurp my title. His Chancellor, Gostin von Sels, is supposedly traveling around Catalin trying to find documents and supporters help him legitimize his claim on the title. I assume he means the claim on this, not the Emperor title. Well, why don't we just make him disappear? But we'll just have him assassinated if we can. Not a problem. Not quite the same way we had the Pope assassinated, but still. Alright, let's run down here. How are our troops doing? The assassins I sent failed miserably, and the troublesome Chancellor continues his work to fabricate a claim on his our title. Well, that's not going to be a problem in the long run, because what we're going to do in the long run is give that title to somebody else as soon as this war is done. The only reason we haven't right now is because it's in the middle of a war, so we can't transfer that claim. Alright, come on, let's get these soldiers over here. we got some rebels to crush. Marshal Count Rambo told me about his ideas. I really couldn't understand what he was talking about. Um, but he was adamant, adamant in his belief they'd improve the military. Alright, it's only 32 gold. It's actually super fucking cheap. It must be based proportionally on how much money you have. Luckily for us, we don't have a lot of money. And we're spending a lot of money because we're building our retinue back up. Uh, why don't we merge these dweebs? And we'll send everybody off after these rebels. And when we'll add it, we'll send these guys too. The rebels are on the bottom with their little three dot flag. Sorry, Sunni rebels. This is Tangri territory. Honk. The goose god ordered me to peck your eyes out. <laughs> you didn't give us bread. That is how you appease us. Throw bread to us, and then we're still going to be jerks. Well, it doesn't look like it's going very well for the rebels here. Victory! Alright, we ended that rebellion. We're going to send all these troops home. Let's go find the next rebellion. Oh shit, they raised like 9,000. You know, we're going to attack them. What is the caliphate doing? What are you doing, Caliph? You're defending against Zed the Bewitched in a Mukhtarine Decadence Revolt? Well, good luck. You know, I know we're outnumbered here, but we're going to do it anyway. If, if the vassals die, we'll just send more troops in. Probably make sure they have some proper leaders. The battle is on! We're outnumbered, we crossed a river, they're on a mountain. Oh, that doesn't bode so well. I don't really care about whatever that was. Some guy's whining. Emperor! <laughs> Go away. Truth though is, if we kill enough rebels, even if we lose this battle, the rebellion will be so weakened that it probably won't be a threat. Oh, we turned things around! Superior leadership and technology, despite the fact we had to cross a river and climb a mountain, seems to be working. I don't care. He's like, somebody said naughty things about you! Go away. You're, you're telling me the king of Kiva did. The king of Kiva loves me. And has had vicious rumors spread about him. We will not believe those rumors. We have a good honest king. He's no fool. Ah, well, there goes that rebellion. Victory! Wait, not victory? Oh no. 
Some of the troops have survived. We're going to have to hunt them down. That camel army just looks like they're just meandering. Off to war I go. Gonna murder some heathens. Oh man, 11,000 guys. It's kind of funny that this used to all be Byzantine territory as far as the eye could see. And then it was uh, Muktarid, Sunni Muslim territory. And now it's back with its rightful owner who never ever owned it before, us Bulgarians. And that is obviously the culture of Derek the Carpathian. He likes the Bulgarian ways. The Bulgaria ways. So do his, all his women, you can tell, because he's got a ton of kids. Yeah, chop up them rebels. Victory! King German of Lithuania tells me that Count Ram Brambo of Santiago is preaching his false religion. Uh, we'll deal with it later. He is Muslim. We'll probably have to ask him to convert later on. We'll send these guys home. The truth is, that guy has been a really good military leader that he was complaining about. I mean, obviously, we don't want him spreading Sunni, the Sunni religion around. All right, there's a rebellion left somewhere. I don't know where it is. We'll deal with it later. And then... What are you guys? We have a prisoner? Oh wait, you were part of one of the rebellions, weren't you? Uh, how about we just execute you? There you go. You won't be leading rebellions anymore. Problem solved. Well, you should probably do that with the other rebel too. Oh, we've got a bunch of prisoners. Oh, I don't think I finished letting all the prisoners out last time. Alright, that's, that's going to let a lot of them out. Let's get our daughter in education. All right, who else is in prison that needs to be let out? We'll wait a second for all these people to be let out. We're gonna crush them in this tiny little battle right here. Get the hell out. 94% war score in our defense of this area. Ooh, can we ransom that kid? Sweet, his family will pay for him. They really do love you, kid. If you ever wondered, now you know. I do not like seeing Italians marching through our territory after all the recent wars we fought with them. Um, our son Dragomon needs to be educated. What, what is happening to all you guys' as teachers? We'll have the Empress do it. She's getting, she looks old. She does not. She does not age well. That's a rough looking 50. She's arbitrary, ambitious, cynical, and genius. Well, at least she's a genius for teaching. Alright, the rest of you get the hell out of here. Enjoy some freedom. It's another word for nothing left to lose. Apparently we lost a battle against these guys somehow. Must have been like a really tiny army. I almost feel bad for him. He was like, I'm going to take this land. And then he realized the Teutonic Order kicked his ass and then we did. My liege, my mission to Damascus has been a success. During my visit to the court of the Caliph, I managed to make him understand what a benevolent ruler you are. Does he like us now? He does a little bit. He's like, yeah, you took a lot of my land and killed a lot of my friends. But you're, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, I am all right. Remember, Derek is all kinds of all right. How is his heir apparent, young Kevin? Uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. That's all right. We got a young new concubine. The wrong one. Young new concubine. I don't think this was it, but 28. She can still be popping out babies. There we go, Tadorka. Um, to be popping out them attractive babies. Ninety-eight percent war score. We have almost won the war. Man, our empire is impressive. I never thought we'd end up with England and uh, Wales and Scotland. Chunks of holy crap, <laughs> Sweden. I mean, Sweden in the middle of a giant revolt, defending against Sega the Cruel in the Fifth Swedish Civil War to lower crown authority. And the King of Sweden is currently losing that. How many troops does the? He's got about four thousand. How many do the rebels have? 
He's the cruel? Almost the same amount. Interesting. Oh, somebody's got some peasant rebels going on. Are we finally in the positive? No, we're still running a negative. That's because we're big time building up our retinue. If we run over to the capital a second, you can see this army here didn't exist two episodes ago. That's all brand new retinue units as we are trying to fill these up as we spent a lot of money building new retinues. 99%? We've almost beat this old motherfucker. He's like, I didn't do that to my mother. That's your people that do. Your people? What are you trying to How old is your wife? Wow, she's like half your age, bro. I doubt when I'm 51, I'm going to be able to get any 24-year-old women. Man, she's got a scar. I wonder if she fought like a bear. She's lustful, just, greedy, humble. He's probably like, I can't have any more sex. I'm tired. I fucked a bear. Now I'm going to fuck you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, win this war here. Oh, we have won this war. You may have won the war, or lost the war, bro. The Castilian claim? But don't feel bad. You still have a lusty wife. You got that going for you. Let us send our military home. And then let's give that territory away. Who would like that? Who's a little grumpy? Wow, we have a lot of grumpy people. Why are you so grumpy, dude? Because our personal domain's too big? Uh, here, I'll gr give you this. This is the reason our personal domain is too big. Is because of having this county. There, that, that'll turn him right around. Yeah, now he's like, I love you! You the best! Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. A dangerous faction? Are you kidding me? Elective succession in Andalusia. Okay, that's not a big threat. In fact, I would almost say yes if they asked for that. Because I don't care if that crown... Right now, that crown's going to end up in someone else's hands anyway. Because uh, title succession for it is different. Um, if we go to Laws and Andalusia, it's gavel kind. It's going to be divided amongst everyone. Actually, that's probably all right. Um, oops. I need to educate this kid, not give him territory. <laughs> accidentally gave a 12-year-old the kingdom. That's going to make everyone mad. All right, where is this last rebel? La -ma That's got to be in the north, isn't it? It is right here. Um, where is he? Is that his army? 200 guys? Seriously? Uh, once these guys are got their morale up, once they get it up, you know what I mean. We're going to go fuck them. And not in that way. Makes me think of the kids of the hall. Brain candy. I think it was brain candy or one of the sketches. Whatever. <laughs> if you know what sketch I'm talking about with the military, then you know what I mean. Well, they got it part way up. Half mast. Ah, uh, that's good enough. We outnumber them by such a huge number. We don't need to be totally disciplined. My Emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of Rafa has converted to the Tangri Faith. Good news. It's hard to believe that this LP is almost over. Come on, we gotta crush these rebels. They don't even have a right flank. I guess Joe, who was supposed to be the right flank, forgot to show up. He's like, I didn't want to get murdered. My wife said I had to come home and help with the pie. Hey, but in the end, you're still alive. We have crushed these rebels. You know what? We're going to be nice. We're going to execute you. Oh, it cost us some piety? That's all right. He's not going to rebel again, is he? He's going to be like, how was that nice? Well, we could have tortured you or something. Look at how mighty our empire is. All started there in Sophia so very long ago with Dan Dan the Potato Man.
Hey, you can see our retinue growing right there. Hell yeah. Things have gone pretty well all in all. I don't still don't like the caliphate marching through. <laughs> Whatever. High Chief Cochiselli of Italy tells me that Count Rambo of Santiago is preaching his false religion. We'll deal with it. Hey, Rambo, why don't you you, you convert to the Tangri religion? It's a great religion. We got a goose god. We've got Tangrimus. Count Rambo's no longer Marshal. What? Did he not want to become Tangri? Rambo, I'm going to reappoint you. Blessings upon you and your house. I submit to your wise counsel and convert to the Tangri faith. There we go. I guess apparently when he switches religions, he's got to quit his job temporarily. There you go. Now the guy who was whining that he was teaching everyone to be Muslim, now he's Tangri. His wife might not like it. His kids might not like it. Oh wait, do they all become Tangri? Sweet. Well, not all of his kids. His daughters did. His wife did. They have embraced the ways of the goose. So let's take one last look if I can. Um, let's take a look at the religion. Remember, the Tangri religion, when we started, wasn't reformed. It was tiny and small. And how it covers most of the map. It's even way down in Africa because we married a slut down there. Or one of our families. And then the Bulgarian culture? Just look at that. Bulgarian all over the place. Even up in Sweden. They know it's the best culture, man. What a mighty empire indeed. Can't even fit it all on the map. I've tried to. I need like three monitors to do that. Unfortunately, that's all the farther you can zoom out. Emperor Derek of Carpathia. Not only that, but the Dictopolis clan rules most of Eurasia. Because the Lords of the Sky, you can see their territory over here. Those are ruled by Dictopolis people too. And that, everybody, is the end of the game. We have a huge score, as you can see. 275,605, almost three times what the top is. And it all started right there with Chief Dan of Sophia. Dan, Dan the Potato Man. Then the Dongersons, who turned the little territory into a real kingdom. And then Drizlov, who created an empire. Remember Horse Baby Boy? Those episodes with him were so frustrating for me because I was like, why did I give him a name that was such a mouthful? And for Hermes, is like, I was a mouthful, baby. The Renaissance sweeps across Europe and the feudal era draws to a close. With the score of a whole bunch, you beat House Capet, descended from Robert the Strong, who was a power figure during the reign of Charles the Bald. Remember Radigan? I do. And for Flash, the other Radigan, his descendants would be kings of France in 1066. Or 1066. Uh, although by 1322 the main line would die out, cadet branches still ruled in 1337 as kings of France, Portugal, Naples, Hungary, and Navarre. You know what? They might have done all of those things. They didn't do as much as we did. The Dictopolis clan, man, Lex was pretty good too. We conquered most of Eurasia. We are the greatest empire ever. The greatest dynasty ever. When people think about Dick, they think about great things. I mean, Dictopolis. And Emperor Derek the Attractive. I like how his name was the Glorious. He truly was the Glorious Leader. Well, everybody, I would like to thank all of you who have watched this LP. I had no idea when almost two years ago I started this LP that it would end up being so big. That's what she said. I wish. Wah. Um, yeah. Usually when you do an LP that's big, the more episodes you do, the less people that watch. So I really appreciate all of you who have watched most of the videos, or all the videos, or even some of the videos, and all of you that have especially commented. It's been a lot more fun to keep making these because of that. This has been a hell of a ride. Well, everybody, that's it. That is the Dictopolis clan. That is Crusader Kings 2 Carpathia. Tangri. Honk. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy.